Hello everybody and welcome to another PTZ Optics video in our OBS course. Today we're talking about OBS camera control. We've made some really great new improvements. One of them is controlling the PTZ Optics cameras through OBS with an Xbox joystick. So I'll show you that. Uh, in a new release, we're going to be supporting hotkeys, but even cooler than that, we now have, I know you guys have been asking about it in our user group on Facebook, uh, that you guys want to be able to click a scene in OBS and have that call a preset to the camera. I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. So first of all, uh, thank you so much everyone who helped out create this app and the plugin itself. It's such a great plugin and it's come so far. So I want to show it to you really quickly. So I have the plugin installed. Whoops, let me get rid of this picture. I have the plugin installed in my OBS, okay? And when it's installed, and you can follow the, the way to do that, you go up to the tools and you hit PTZ Optics Controller and it pulls right up. And as you can see here, we can have up to eight cameras controlled. And I wanna show you just really quickly how to get the Xbox controller set up. So in settings, we just hit joystick settings and you'll see this new button here which is really plug and play Xbox controller setup. You just hit, you just have to have a joyce, an Xbox joystick controller and you go ahead and click use joystick. And once you've done that, whatever camera you've connected to, you can control with the Xbox controller. So let me just quickly show you how easy that is to use. Uh, I have a camera connected here uh, and you can kind of see it right there. Oh, almost forgot. There's a, New feature there I gotta show you guys. So basically, I can go ahead and control this camera directly with this Xbox joystick. So take a look at that. So fun, super easy to use, um, really good. And uh, let me quickly go over the uh, on, from a top-down camera what all the buttons do on the Xbox joystick really quickly. All right, so here's my Xbox joystick controller. As of right now, and this may change a little bit because I'm getting feedback from you guys on what you guys like, this joystick switches between the available cameras that you have. Um, this one here and here will do your pan, tilt, and zoom. Um, right now, and this has got to kind of be changed, but these triggers here do your zooming in and out. And then these ones here are going to call presets. Now, this is in beta. Some of the, the preset stuff has still got to, got, to, got to come in there. But that's how all this works right here. So cool stuff. Thank you so much for all of your, your ideas. I know some of you want to see the PlayStation uh, controller supported, the Logitech uh, Extreme joysticks supported. Just let us know in the comments. Let us know what you guys need, and we're going to build it into this. So now, time for the fun stuff. Now, uh, really quickly, I want to show you, uh, you can do uh, presets down here, and the presets are going to be important. So I set up three presets that I want to show you. So we, what you can do is you can go into the preset area there to set a preset. And whatever you name the preset, it will show up in one of these preset areas. So you can kind of have names and, and know what preset is what. So let me call a couple presets really quickly so you can see this. So, oh, I just named that Xbox controller because I had it in preset mode. Whoops, I got to zoom out now. Let me, let, let's, I guess we'll just go ahead and set a preset then. Let's set a preset showing our video production area a little bit. All right, preset, we'll call this production and hit okay. All right, so we just set a preset. Now I've got a preset on the right of the screen and I've got a preset that's gonna zoom in to my Xbox controller here. Now that is preset one, two, and three, right? So what we can do now, and this is really what you guys have been asking for, is we can use our brand new HTTP command set and we can build this into, and this is gonna take a second to explain this, into the OBS scenes using the web browser input and therefore control camera presets. And what we wanna look for when we were looking at this is, now you can, you can use any of these that you'd like, but the one that we're going to focus on is the camera preset position. So you just copy and paste this string into your web browser input, and we'll do this together. You put your camera's IP address into that part of the string. 
the action that we usually want, depending on what you want to do here, is going to be called post call, right? We want to call a preset. And then we simply uh, enter the position number. So this is really, really cool stuff. Let me show you how it works. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to look at OBS here and we're going to go into, I'm going to close the controller because we've already set our presets. The, the, what you guys wanted is you didn't want to have to use the controller at all. I'm going to go down to my scenes to show you how this is set up. So I've got uh, one scene here. I've got a two scene here and I've got a three scene here. And you saw that as soon as I clicked that scene, the camera moved and that's what you guys want. So let me show you how it's set up. So this is a web browser input right here. Okay. So you can see that the web browser input has the URL that we just talked about. Okay. So you put the URL directly into the OBS web browser input with your IP address that we talked about. You can see that it says post call and uh, you can see that I'm calling preset one on the camera. Now, one thing to consider when you're doing this, just so you know, is that down here, if you scroll down a little bit, is refresh browser when scene becomes active. We need to do that to initiate the call so that it's not sitting in an older, an older setup here. So that's it, guys. Let me show you uh, my OBS setup one more time here. All right, there we go. Um, so again, now I have scene one, two, and three here. So let's go to scene two. And scene two is going to call preset two. You zoom out so you can see this a little better. And again, you, know, you might have a really complicated setup here, but generally all you need is to have, you know, your camera in the scene and that web browser input in the scene. And then you will be able to call presets simply by clicking an OBS scene. So I know that's what you guys wanted. I'm so happy we're able to get that to work for you. And I'm just excited. I think that we've done a really good job here working with OBS, our OBS plugin getting a great update and using the HTTP commands directly inside OBS. If you enjoyed this, you know, we do have a great OBS course that you guys can take. The coupon code is OBS free. It's available on Udemy if you need to learn more about OBS and get it. I'm updating that course now for 2020 and 2019. So I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to learn more because we're going to be digging into OBS optimization soon. Bye, guys. Take care.